Well, first up, uh, the game against England, I think it was a good game at the end of it all. Uh, it was a game of two different halves. And uh, I think the coach wanted to still uh, finally, finally conclude who and who will be going to the uh, uh, World Cup. It's final 23-man squad. And I think he got what exactly what he wanted. He saw the first half. He saw the way the teams played with some different players. And then he brought in some players that should probably be back up for the first team. And interestingly, I think they proved him right. In what, you look at the likes of uh, Ogu, the likes of Tyre and Ubuehi, who's probably meant to be a backup for Shehu Abdullahi. And we saw the way some of these players, you know, proved themselves. So I think in a way, it's a good lesson for the team. Mm, really, the game, uh, it was in the bad one. Uh, knowing the caliber of a uh, uh, team we played against, it wasn't a bad result. Uh, like I always say, it's, it's still a work in progress. I believe we have like less than two weeks to prepare our boys for the comp competition proper, the World Cup. I believe the technical crew, they know what and what to do to put the boys in uh, proper shape before the tournament. For me, number one, uh, friendly games are meant for corrections and adjustments. It was a nice game. Nigeria played well in the second half. The first half was where we saw our mistakes. And I commend the technical crew for the change of um, players and personnel and the formation. And uh, try to the adjustment they made were okay. I just think, I just hope we we'll build on that adjustment in the next game we're going to play. I believe in um, before two weeks, before the um, main World Cup, we should be good for the tournament. Yeah, my take from that game is uh, the team really came out in the second half. And I, I pray that uh, the guys that came up in the second half uh, will do better in, uh, in our first match against uh, uh, Croatia. And uh, I see the combination of uh, Echebo, uh, Mikel, and uh, Ogo in the midfield. To be up, even the attack with the Simeon Wapo and uh, um, Igalo will be a good combination. Um, I think for the first half, we did not play well at all. We played like there was nothing else. Although nothing at stake, but we did not play well at all for the first half. The changes in the second half brought in more energy from the Eagles. But honestly speaking, the midfield were lacking ball users in the midfield. Apart from Mikel, who played um, behind the top striker. The midfielders like Onazi and um, Joel Obi didn't show themselves at all. It was really a bad match, a bad outing. But second half, we tried in second half. And for the least, I think, um, I think honestly speaking, I would have preferred one of the Onkalis in place of Joel Obi. And um, I think um, the one other guy, um, I know didn't make it too. I would have preferred, I know, ahead of one of those um, defensive, midfield, uh, defensive um, midfielders or outside left. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It was a good uh, warm-up match for the World Cup. But I think it was also a good match to assess the players before the World Cup. At least we were able to see some of the players and that will give us uh, the opportunity to do the, little, the adjustment we can't do before the World Cup that will help us. Second half was much better. First half, the attitude was so poor. They were marking space. Uh, the technical man, he did a very good thing that I really impressed about about the second half which is changes you can see the attitude was better in the second half so if you have a tactician like that i believe if they increase on their attitude and more determined focus i believe they can take on anything that's what i want and i wish them i wish them all the best but i have my reservations about certain things especially the players in some situations a good example is joel obi we have seen joel obi in two good games and interestingly it's not the Joel Obi we used to know in the past. So I think for a reason, I think maybe probably too much of injuries and too long absence in the national team has really affected him. He seems to play very well for Serie A in Torino, but when it comes to Super Eagles, he has struggled. We saw him against uh, um, Congo. He was totally out of place. We saw him against England. He was totally out of place. I'm shocked that the coach still decided to pick him. Maybe there's something that he sees that we don't see. And I'm also very, very disappointed that General Rod did not consider giving a look in to Kelechi Wakali after what we saw against Atletico Madrid. And uh, I think the reason why I'm saying this is because Moses Simons uh, incurred an injury and I would have expected that to be an, a good opportunity for Gennon Raw, who was clearly impressed with Wakali, to say, you know what, Simon is injured. I'm bringing this guy in. The only reason why I'm bringing him is because Simon is injured. I want him to prove himself. If he proves himself worth, 
he can go into the team. We have seen a, a, the way a player can just come and make an impact. Brian Ido is a fantastic example. Never played in the qualifiers. He played just one friendly match against Argentina, proved his worth. Now he's going to the World Cup. And we've seen the likes of Simi Wanko put up a good performance against Congo. He's going to the World Cup. Why couldn't they give Kelechi Inwakali his chance? But apart from that, I, I don't see so much of uh, anything that is wrong in the selection for the World Cup, except maybe Onazi. I'm not sure whether Onazi is fully fit.